What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is the dog days of summer. Can't believe it's August already. It's hot out. This is when the fishing gets kind of tough. You know, there's a lot of things going on in August that makes the fishing tough. You know, first up, the water's getting so warm that the oxygen levels are dropping. So you either got fish to go super deep or actually you have fish that actually start to go shallow in August. And uh, that's kind of what we're gonna talk about here today is my top three baits for the month of August. You know, like I mentioned, August is pretty tough fishing. So I only went with three baits this month and this is gonna be more focused towards those shallow fish. So like I mentioned, you know, once the water temps get real high, the oxygen level depletes and there'll actually be more oxygen in shallow water and especially, you know, maybe some creek run-ins the back of creeks, back of pockets, that kind of stuff, maybe a little bit of current and maybe a couple degree cooler water. And that's the kind of things I'm looking for in the month of August. And uh, we're gonna dive in with a few baits that I like to fish this time of year. First up, my favorite way to catch them is just a buzz bait. So this right here is the Epic Baits buzz bait. This is the slow roller model. They have a slow roller and a burner model. So you're able to take this and just tickle the top of the water and burn it real slow. And you get some real aggressive explosions throwing a buzz bait around. You know, the buzz bait's a bait that you could literally just tie one rod up, go out with a buzz bait and throw it from start to finish. And you're gonna get some big fish to bite it in August. But you gotta commit to it all day. You know, it's one of those baits where you're not gonna just pick it up and maybe you could just pick it up and throw it a couple times and get a bite. But you kinda gotta commit to it and throw it all day, throw it for a long period of time. And you're only looking for a few of those bites, but generally they're gonna be bigger quality. So going along with, Top water, this is gonna be a frog. So here's a couple of different frogs I like to throw. You know, really a, a frog is just an excellent bait. So you can pick whatever frog you like to throw. You know, I got a popping frog and then I got a little regular frog for more of a, a walking style. But this kind of goes along with the buzz bait, you know, but this is gonna be for more of your heavier cover. You know, maybe you got some lay downs or some bushes over the water that you can't really get the buzz bait in the frog is gonna handle those and, and be able to fish that heavier cover. You know, maybe you got some trash mats, some duckweed stuff growing around in the back of these pockets. You can throw the frog on top of all that and pop it around and really you catch some really big fish this time of year, you know, on a frog, fishing those types of things. Anything that's floating, any kind, type of cover that's floating in the back of a creek, back of a pocket, around docks. Really, you can't go wrong throwing the frog around anywhere. You know, it's not just limited to grass. You know, you think about a frog being just a grass type bait, you know, throwing it over matted grass, but, but really, you know, especially in August, you can throw that at like a popping frog around lay downs, docks, like I mentioned, all that type of structure that, uh, you know, you typically can't get any other baits in and around. You can throw that frog and get some really big bites and really aggressive shallow fish in the summer. Now, of course, you know, you always think top water's best first thing in the morning and right before dark, which those are great times to do it. But I don't know what it is about the dog days of summer. You can throw a top water all day long. You know, the, the bright, sunny, slick conditions don't matter. You can throw a, a top water all day long and they'll eat it. So last bait I got here. This is gonna be for more when you wanna slow down and start flipping and pitching some of those, like I mentioned, docks, lay downs, that kind of stuff. If you're not getting much action on the top water, you wanna try something else, you can start flipping around. And this right here is the Yamamoto Flappin' Hog. So I like a bait that doesn't have a whole lot of action. You know, the, the water's hot and the fish are probably pretty pressured by now. You know, a lot of people get out fishing. So I like a bait that glides. You know, it doesn't have any, any tails on the back that are flapping around. You know, this just kind of glides in the water and these are real natural looking, no real hard thumping or flapping around. So this right here, you can rig him up on a straight shank, a Trocar TK 130. I like the four-aught size for the, the large flapping hog. 
and the three aught size for the small flapping hog. But you can just flip these around that same type of structure. You know, any any sort of shade pocket, overhanging tree, lay down, any type of trash mat, anything like that. You can flip this in there and, and pick up some of those fish in the month of August. But like I mentioned, August is a tough time to fish. You always want to get out there as early as possible as you can because it just makes you more comfortable. You know, it's hard and it's hard on the body and it's very hot out there. Make sure you drink lots of water for sure. But you can still catch a lot of nice fish and have a lot of fun in the month of August. So hopefully you guys learned something here today. Give these baits a try if you're heading out fishing in the month of August. You know, these will work all over the country from Florida to New York to Michigan, Texas, anywhere the month of August, you could take one of these three baits and catch some bass. And that's the goal of this channel. I want to help you guys catch some more bass. So appreciate you guys watching. Leave me any likes and comments down below. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.